Hello everyone, today in this video we are going to talk about MSI MAG 341CQP Best Settings. MSI MAG 341CQP Best Settings SDR Mode Settings Mode Selection Go to the Professional or PR Mode menu to adjust settings. This menu offer more control over the display settings compared to the Game Mode preset. Choose between user mode for full ED wide gamut or sRGB mode for more accurate SDR content. Brightness and color temperature user mode. Adjust the brightness to your preferred level. Example 33 for 120 nits, 46 for 150 nits or 68 for 200 nits. Change the color temperature to custom and set RGB channel to 100 initial. Then adjust red and green to 99 and leave blue at 100 to achieve a white point close to D65 6500K. sRGB mode adjust the brightness example 35 for 120 nits, 50 for 150 nits or 70 for 200 nits. Note that color temperature is not adjustable in sRGB mode. Additional settings enable HDMI CEC to auto detect and switch to HDMI inputs like game consoles. Turn on Type C power delivery if using a Type C connection. OLED care settings pixel shift. Set pixel shift to slow to minimize distraction during desktop usage. Panel protect and static screen detection. Enable static screen detection and adjust the activation time and reducing level to mitigate image detection. Enable multi logo protection, taskbar detection, and boundary detection. Adjust the reducing level as needed to avoid distractions. HDR mode setting, HDR activation, activate HDR for windows to activate HDR from windows to switch the monitor to HDR mode. Display HDR settings, choose between true black 400 and peak 1000 modes. True black 400 caps maximum peak brightness at around 450 nits but may look brighter in certain content. Peak 1000 can reach higher peak brightness but may make mid-tone grey appear darker. Experiment with both modes to see which looks best for your content. How to update MSI MAG 341CQP firmware? Go to the MSI website and navigate to support page for MSI MAG 341CQP monitor. Look for a selection related to firmware updates. Download the firmware update file. So all URL are mentioned in the description box. It will be useful for you. Thanks for watching.